So welcome back everybody. Today we are back on the sawmill and uh, we are going to tackle some of these piles of pine logs here and see if we can get through some of them. Today's video is probably going to be a lot different and maybe a little bit boring. Uh, what I'm planning to do is just putting the camera on time lapse. I'll probably move it around a few times just to kind of keep it interesting. But my goal today is just to see how many logs I can get through by myself, me and the tractor and uh, we're just going to go from there. Uh, it's almost 8 30 in the morning. I can saw till maybe 3 30 this afternoon. So let's just start and see how many we can get through.
guys, so we're moving right along here. Uh, the log that's on the mill right now is log number eight. Uh, it's about 12.30, maybe a little bit after. I just had some lunch and uh, I'm gonna do a blade change. seen this before but the quickest way to find metal in a log is to put a new blade on so I actually metal detected the other side of this log but I did not do this side and what's really interesting about this is I cut the slab off first and I didn't hit anything and then I went ahead and got my second cut off of this another inch deeper and uh, I found this nail and I'm not sure I'm, that looks like it's secondary to some damage and there's something really awful in there somewhere I really don't know what it is but uh, I wanted to show you all this though if you get way down with a, uh, there's, there's stuff all in this log if you get way down close with the metal detector it'll work pretty well but once you get kind of high with it See, I'm really not all that high, quite honestly. It just won't pick it up well. It has to be about that close before it picks it up. So I don't even know if it would have picked that up. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. And it's probably kind of risky, but I'm going to put the old blade on it that I just had on it. Because this one is totally destroyed. And that was a fresh blade. And it was one of my blades that I sharpened. And it was cutting great, too. <laughs> and I, was, I was so proud of my skills on, that, uh, on, the, on the sharpening of that blade. But... Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the old blade on and I'm going to go down a little bit lower and see if I can get up under those nails because I don't want to waste this log. This is a beautiful, beautiful log and uh, we'll see if, because um, there's no digging this stuff out. I could probably dig that nail out right there, but that down in there, I don't even know what's down in there. And there's stuff deeper in here as well. So I'm going to dip it down maybe, maybe three inches, something like that, and just cut a big slab off hopefully that'll get up under the nails and if not well we'll see so the old blades on and i decided to go down four inches uh, just to hopefully clear those all that junk in this log and i hope it works we'll see So we ended up salvaging eight boards out of that. So that was a pretty good risk and it paid off. There's actually still a nail in this end uh, in the last three inches or so. So I'm just gonna chop that off right there so that I don't have to remember it for the planer in about six months and ruin a planer blade. Uh, actually, you can see it right here in this other board. But yeah, pretty nice boards and uh, we're gonna have to change that blade anyway. So. Let's go ahead and do that and uh, we'll get back to get back to saw in here.
wrap it up for today. It turns out I've got to go home a little bit early. We've got company coming over tonight and I need to run home. But uh, we did really good today, I think. We sawed for just a little bit under six and a half hours. And that is 47 boards right there. And that's just my half. We, um, I went through 11 logs total. And these are pretty nice pine boards. These are, let's look at these. That one's 10 inches right there. That one's gonna be about 13. Of course, when they get edged, they'll be a little bit narrower. But yeah, pretty good yield, I think. Pretty good yield. And that, like I said, that's just half of it right there. Uh, Eric's half is over here. And obviously that's not all of that was done today. Just from, I don't even know, somewhere up was, uh, was the half that was done today. So pretty good, pretty good turnout, I think. And the sawmill performed flawlessly, of course. And that's log number 12 right there, ready for in the morning. And we're almost out of these large green logs that he's been getting. And we'll have to start back on the, on the smaller, drier logs. And um, what I've been trying to do is get to these big green logs first so they don't start getting that blue stain in them. Uh, these boards that I'm cutting are destined to be in our house on a remodel. And I really prefer boards that are uh, that are yellow and don't have that blue stain in them but we've got several logs right in here that my tractor won't lift up they're just too large uh, he's got a backhoe i uh, should be able to use it to get those up there but this is our stack of dryer logs and we'll get to those next and there's a smaller stack over there i'll probably do that small stack next once these green logs are are finished but yeah we're getting there uh, we're getting there slowly but surely 11 logs at a time basically Thankfully, this is not a timed project. We just got to get to them before the logs rot, basically. But that's going to do it, guys. I will see you all on the next one.